Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, let's learn a Python program that is write a Python program to draw scatter plots to compare two features of Iris dataset. So you have to draw the scatter plot. So this is not a single plot, but multiple plots you have to draw and you have to compare the two features of the Iris dataset. So once we understood the problem statement, so let me show you what exactly is iris flower. So this is the iris flower and the bottom leaf is known as the sepal that is having the more width and the above one these are known as the petals. So this is known as sepal and this is known as the petal. So given the length and width of sepal and the petals so we can classify them into the three species. So that's what the data is all about in the iris dataset. So let me show you iris dataset. So iris dataset contains uh, six features. First feature is ID. So this is not uh, relevant to us in problem solving. The next is sepal length, sepal width, petal length, petal width and uh, based on these four features so we can classify them into the species. So species here are three types of species but first is setosa and uh, if you go below you can see versicolor so this is uh, another species and uh, next is virginica so this is the third one so these are the three species first is setosa then next is versicolor and the third is virginica so when, once we get to know these data set so let's write a python program so let me minimize this. So we have to compare the two features of iris dataset. So for that let's import the required modules or libraries. So I need pandas and matplotlib in order to plot the graph. So let's import the pandas. Pandas as pd and matplotlib. Let's import it. This is import matplotlib.pyplot I need. Let's give some name as plot. So once we import the required libraries, so we will be taking a variable named as iris. So this will be storing the iris dataset. So let's use the pandas pd dot read csv file and provide the input argument as iris in the quotes yeah and uh, yeah so once the initialization is done so let's take a plot and uh, initialize it so we will be plotting the that is a sepal length, length versus the sepal width that is the two features we are trying to compare so if you look into the csv file i am going top so you can see sepal length is first feature i'll be taking and the sepal width so x axis will be sepal length versus Y axis sepal width. So let's uh, give some label plot.x label that is uh, I'll be providing the sepal length. So this is just a name and I have to provide the y axis plot.y label and this is sepal width. So let's modify here only. So these two things we are trying to compare and I'll set the title plot dot title. So this will be sepal length versus sepal width. Yeah, so once we initialize the iris dataset and the plot that is a x axis label and y axis label and the title. So we have to divide the dataset into three species. So let's take a variable that is a setosa. And get the values of setosa. So let's take iris dataset and uh, divide it into three parts that is first is setosa let's take iris of species 
so this is species and let's have it here and let's take only the flowers or the species named as iris hyphen setosa so let's have it here so this will divide the this is the first part of uh, division so one braces is uh, okay this is equal equals to yeah so once we get the first uh, species so let's take another so i am copy pasting so this is next is versicolor so let's take versicolor name and modify here versicolor uh, this is nothing and here you have to modify it to versicolor and then the last one that is the final one is virginica so let's take the name and virginica equals to let me copy paste the same yeah so once we divide the iris data set into the three species so we have to take these three species and uh, plot the x-axis as sepal length and uh, y-axis as the sepal width so let's take a graph or the plot let's take uh, scatter plot and you have to provide the four things over here first is the x-axis y-axis then the label and then the color so let's uh, provide it let's take setosa this is the first PC and uh, first PC of that is a sepal length we are taking. This is a CSV file. I am copying the same so that there won't be any mistake. And let's take ag again that is a setosa of uh, sepal width over here. Yeah, and uh, now we have to give label label equals to setosa and uh, yeah so color equals to i'll give red color yeah so this is a scatter plot of uh, setosa so now let me copy and uh, paste it same and modify it to versicolor so let me modify this modifying this and here and now again i'll change the color to something like blue this is blue and now that is a final data set of virginica so let me copy paste the same and i have to change the data set that is virginica and here label also virginica and this is green yeah so we have plotted the scatter plot so let's show the label sorry this is a legend so we have to show the plot dot legend and uh, plot dot show in order to display the plot yeah so this is a complete program to draw scatter plots of two features and uh, compare the that is uh, compare the two features between three species so let me run this program and uh, let me show you how it works yeah so here is a graph that shows uh, sepal length versus uh, sepal width of uh, three species that is uh, red is setosa then blue is uh, versicolor and uh, green is virginica so you can see you can also save this plot if needed yeah so this is how you try to take the two features of uh, iris dataset and uh, try to compare between the three species so yeah so i have also explained this in my blog that uh, i have given the link in the description box so i have also compared the not only sepal but also the petal length versus petal width so that is the second uh, program that uh, i have 
provided in my blog that I'll I have given the link in the description so you can refer that as well and also you can compare multiple things that is sepal versus petal so there are multiple options where you can compare sepal versus petal then sepal width versus uh, the petal width yeah so these are multiple comp comparisons you can perform so this is a simple thing so i'll give this code in the description of this video so that's it in this video hope you liked it thank you for watching bye